guys, it's Free, aka She Black Free, and I'm back again with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you my fall basics. And this is corresponding with my blog post. So if you haven't seen that, you already know the drill. It's gonna be linked down below. But we're gonna hop right into this. So one of the fall basics that you need um, being a linen shirt. And I have that right here. This is a very comfortable linen shirt. It's highly see-through, but it's long. You can style it different ways. You can tie it up. You can tuck it in and, you know, wear it baggy. Um, you can even wear it as a, a dress if you feel bold, you know. <laughs> you feel you feeling real bold, you can do that too. This is like a very nice staple, a very nice basic that I think that everyone should have, especially for fall, because fall typ is typically pretty, it's like the transition into winter. So it's still summer some days, and this is actually pretty good for summer as well, especially on those breezy days. So I really like this because not only is it a very breathable fabric, but it can also keep you warm if it gets too cold. Another fall basic, jeans. These jeans are from American Eagle and these are distressed and they are mom jeans. Um, these are a size four and they have some stretch to them. They have some distressing, you know, um, but they are very nice, a very nice staple. And and I truly believe that a good pair of jeans that are comfortable can be a great basic to have in your wardrobe. You can match it with any of your tops, your linen top, um, any of the other tops that I'm going to mention in this video. You can pretty much pair jeans with anything, as you all know. Another fall basic, white t-shirts. So don't ask why I have two. One of these is from ASOS. The other one is from Jones and Company. Um, so this one is a little less see-through than this one. So I tend to wear this one more, but this one is a very relaxed casual. This one is a little bit more form-fitting. So this is very good for formal events or if I wanna wear it to work, I can just put a blazer over top of it and it still doesn't look too casual if I take the blazer off because of the fabric and just the way that it fits. Whereas this is a little more relaxed, it's a little bit baggier, therefore it's a lot more casual. Another fall basic that I have is this top. Um, I've had this top for a very, very long time. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that. Um, I'm covering the label because I no longer support the, the brand that this is from. Um, but it's off the shoulder and I really like this top. I just wish the brand was better, but they're not so. And I already have it, so I'm just, I'm gonna wear it till it falls apart. It's a long sleeve, long sleeve off the shoulder top. And I will try to link a photo in here showing you what that looks like. Another great one is this cropped turtleneck. This is a long sleeve crop turtleneck, and this is perfect for fall. Um, this is definitely a fall basic. I really, really love this top. Um, I like wearing this with high waisted pants. You can wear it with the mom jeans I just mentioned. You can wear this with leggings. You can wear this with a skirt, which you'll see in here. You can wear this with a leather skirt, or you can wear it with a brown skirt. And hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the brown skirt. I'm gonna get the brown skirt. This. So, this top with this skirt. Tell me that ain't cute. Tell me. I dare you. Another fall basic sweaters. I love sweaters. If I could only wear sweaters, I would. But I live in Ohio where the weather is constantly changing and has a mind of its own. So this is a very breathable sweater. It is a 
I'm not sure what you call this style of the sleeve, but it's like a bellow sleeve that goes into a more tighter constricted sleeve around the wrist area. You'll see when I put it on. Um, but I really like this sweater. This is from the brand Eva Milano. I can't really remember where I got this from. I think this was from TJ Maxx, but I love it. Another great fall basic, balloon pants. Now these are a little tight on my waist, but I really like these. You can find pants like these on, um, trying to think of a, a brand that isn't crazy. I guess they all have their issues. You can find pants like these on other stories. Um, I'm not gonna mention where I got these from just because, you know, the brand and I already bought them, so. But I really like these. You can pair these with like a t-shirt, like the one I'm wearing, you can pair it with that. You can pair it with heels and a t-shirt to, you know, make it like a cash, dressy vibe. I really love balloon pants, especially for fall because they are very breathable. The air is going through them. They still keep you warm in the cold, especially if it gets cold at night. So, balloon pants. Another great fall staple, sweater dress. Now this is like a three quarter length sweater dress. So I'm not a huge fan of the quarter length sleeves, but this dress is very cute. It's very form fitting. You can wear it with a pair of thigh high boots and boom, fall. As I had mentioned with the white tops, crew neck and a v-neck. So this is a v-neck, this is a crew neck, as you can tell. And I really, really love type tops like these, especially a v-neck because it can be um, a lot more dressy if you allow it. And just this fabric is the same as the other white one that I mentioned. So this can be worn for work as well, as well as this one. So I really like these two, um, especially with the V-neck because then I can wear different type of necklaces and it won't look weird like it would with a crew neck. So I really like these. These are definitely fall basics that everyone should have. Another fall basic is a colored crop top. So most of the colors that I've mentioned in this video are very neutral, obviously because it's it's fall. Um, I love a good colored crop top. So I have this one, which is a v-neck and it's brown, still a neutral color, um, but it's nice because it adds a little bit to my wardrobe in terms of it not being just black, which is, if you haven't noticed, it's most of my closet, so. I can't help it. I love black. I love black people and black clothes. Also, another good basic would be a colored crop top. Now this is a crew neck, but this one's a little special because it has like a little cutout in the back. So I really like pairing these with like high-waisted jeans or leggings. Um, you can even do something like joggers, like, you know, the Adidas joggers that everybody wears. You can pair it with that, pair it with a cardigan, pair it with like a long skirt or a shorter skirt and then a cardigan or, you know, the um, wrap around coats. It's versatile. So like, even though fall is a little bit colder, um, layering is like one of the big things that you can do for fall, which means that these pieces, which would typically be summer pieces, are great transitional pieces into fall. Another fall basic is this black off the shoulder top. This is a sweater off the toe shoulder top, so not like the other one. Um, so this is great to wear, not only in fall, but also in winter. So I like this because this is a multi-use product that I can use that is in my closet. So for fall, especially at night, if you're going out with your friends, I don't know where you're going right now because we're everybody's supposed to be in the house, but you know what? If you do and you do what you do because you're an adult and ain't nobody gonna tell you what to do, you do it. So if you're gonna be going out and you know, looking cute, might as well. Another great fall piece are blazers. 
Blazers are great for the fall and winter, fall in particular, because you can pair them with any of the crop tops that I mentioned, any of the tops that I mentioned. Blazers are great for that. Um, I like this blazer. I thrifted it from Goodwill, so it is one of my favorites. It has a pattern, so it goes with pretty much everything in my closet because it is a pattern, but it's a neutral pattern, and most of my clothes are neutral, so... I really like this blazer. Something else I want to mention that you need, a cute jean jacket. And not just any cute jean jacket, but one that is unique. A unique jean jacket. I thrifted this when I went to Cleveland like about two, two or three years ago. Um, I think it was two years ago. But this is a, a great, great jean jacket. It's actually from PacSun, but I found it at a thrift store. And I really like the designs on the back. Um, my friend actually convinced me to buy it because it's a little large on me, but because it's oversized, it's great to still wear during the fall season. And you can layer under it so that way everything that you're going to wear, especially sweaters, when it gets a little bit colder in the later of part of fall, you can wear. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention was t-shirts. T-shirts are very good for fall transitioning. You can wear them with any of the pieces that I mentioned, the bottoms, like the flowy balloon bottoms, the jeans, the skirts, all of that. But I also wanted to mention shoes. So I work in a professional setting, so I have to wear heels. So I found these beautifully toned heels, toned nude heels from Wa, and I'm obsessed with them. I wasn't sure how I felt about them at first, but I'm actually really in love with them. The more I wear them, I'm like, who is she? What is she doing? Where's she going? But these are really cute and I highly recommend, if you, especially if you work in a professional setting, getting some shoes like these for fall because not only will it give you space for your feet to breathe, but they're also pretty cute and you don't have to worry about your toes always being done. Another shoe for fall, Boots. These are actually um, knee highs, so they only go towards, and yeah, they only reach my knees, but I really like these. These are great to wear with jeans, especially skinny jeans. Um, so like the black skinny jeans that you're gonna see in this video somewhere. <laughs> um, these are very nice with those. Um, I really liked the detail on the back. You know, it gives it some character and then the brown heels, so. I think that a good pair of knee-high boots is very good for fall. Another shoe that's good for fall, tennis shoes. Now tennis shoes are good for summer too, spring, not so much winter, but fall, they are still in, especially Vans and especially these. I absolutely love my slip-on vans. They're a little dirty, but I love these because they're easy to slip on and off. Don't have to worry about tying any ties. This lace is coming loose. These are where they are at, and they pretty much go with everything that I mentioned in this video. Another thing I wanted to mention was printed pants. So a good pair of printed pants will really elevate your style for fall, um, especially if you work in a professional setting. But even if you don't, they're still pretty good to have. I love these, I got these from Francesca's. So I really, really like that little boutique. So it is a very, very nice buy, a very nice have. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments, what are your fall basics? What do you suggest everyone have in their closet? Let me know. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.